Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Starbound. When we last left off, we were just doing some stuff in Nightly. As you can see, I've got another new character, and he's got a fancy hat. This is what his head looks like, in case you're curious. But uh, I think the hat is nice. We also have this lovely whip, uh, which I don't think is regularly attainable yet. I just kind of spawned it in, because one of the things... Oh, cool. He actually has his own death animation. One of the things I figured I would show off in this episode is some of the cool, uh, like, backer tier weapons where, uh, back when this game was being funded, uh, people could, if they paid a certain tier, uh, suggest weapons to be added to the game, and those have started to be added to the game. This hat is also one of those things. First, we also have a lovely dinosaur hat. So we'll put that on, since first rule of Starbound is every time you find a new hat, you gotta put it on. Uh, there was some new dialogue for all this, but uh, I kind of skipped over it because I didn't realize there'd be new dialogue. It was nothing too exciting. I'm assuming all these dinosaur hats are eventually going to be, or maybe they were supposed to be, uh, core fragments, but due to uh, Glitch in the Nightly, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, basically the idea seems to be now that if you if you want to be a combat type player and you don't want to do any of the mining, then what you'd want to do is play this. You'd want to go into the mine and you'd get all your stuff here. If you want to be more peaceful and not be so combat centric, then what you'd want to do instead is just mine your way into the planet core. So quite honestly, uh, the combat way would be faster. So even if you have no interest in being a combat-oriented player, I would probably figure that uh, just taking the time to bi uh, build a couple pieces of armor and explore the mine would probably be in your best interest. But, you know, if you don't want to have any combat in this game at all, then it is entirely viable, which I think is a good thing. Let's uh, you have that variety. There is a lot of monsters in here. I'm assuming this is like they've been hand placed, so it's almost like uh, almost like a mission, but not quite. Anyway, uh, there's also another change to the starting planet. It seems, as far as I can tell, hello there, monster. You a mini boss? I can't tell. You you're bigger than some of the monsters, so I assume you are. Also, this whip is really hard to use as a weapon because. Only does damage if you hit them at the end, so it takes a little bit of getting used to because you have to know exactly where the end of the whip is going to hit. And those bats are the most annoying things on the planet when you're trying to use this whip. Because if you're not careful, they get too close to you and then they're... Those guys don't have a unique death animation yet, but it, they're slowly getting implemented, so it's pretty cool. I look really weird with this mask on, by the way. Really weird indeed. Anyway, also, you know what? Let's just, um... Alright. I'm going down, which is not what I wanted. Okay, okay. And, well, that's one way to skin a cat, as they say. As you can see, I kind of... I've been destroying some stuff on my way through. Because, like I said, there is some interesting new, uh... Well, something I consider interesting. They've changed how you get to the outpost, it seems. And as far as I can tell, you now technically don't even have to get the core fragments. Unless you need the core fragments now, not necessarily to repair your ship, but to uh, turn on the little fancy gizmo bob that lets you access the outpost. Or maybe you still need the core fragments to get your ship engine going. You don't actually need to start your ship, it seems, to go to the outpost. At least in the current nightly. I don't know if it's the final plan to have it work this way. Man, I love this thing. It's gonna be so hard going back to the regular game without being able to use this to just destroy everything. One step below a Sharknado. I think there is, in fact, a Sharknado-type weapon in this. Or that's a reference to, obviously, Sharknado and or possibly Terraria with, uh, what is it, Duke Fishron who shoots Sharknados. And the music changes. I like that. I'm not sure how long stuff like that's been in... Well, that, no. It, as long as this thing's been around, it seems to cause the music to change. I like that as a feature. It's pretty cool. Also, uh, if I make some more torches, I believe there is a special ability of the, the whip. I think it can grab onto torches. Nope. I am mistaken. 
I know I've seen a thing. I'm pretty sure it's with the whip. It might be with something different. Line whip, maybe? Uh, also, that's a spoiler for later. Or is the vine whip just a regular whip? Might be. There are whips now in the game. Oh. Probably should have tested this before I began, but this thing doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> ah. Oh well. Alright, off to the ship. Also, it occurs to me retrospectively that laugh might have sounded just awful. So, sorry about that. Anyway. Yes, so before we go off to the outpost, though... And take a little look over there. Are you still here? Oh no, Punchy left. Punchy is a unique monster who hasn't been fully implemented into the game. And he, basically he only serves to basically be a punching bag. So he's either a masochist or he's like the saddest thing in the world. Poor guy. Like he doesn't even fight back. He just stands there looking very unamused as I whip him repeatedly. I think this is po- holy crap, that is a lot of poison. Damn. And just, as you can also see, he's got a lot of health, so... Here's some other cool weapons. Let us, uh, let's put these away for now. And then we'll play with these. Where'd my weapons go? No, 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 I wanted you to go immediately into the hot bar. Oh, wow, I can just right-click and they automatically go into the hot bar. That is convenient. Alright, so first up, what do we have? I suppose I should actually look at their names. We have the Alien Worm Gun. All of these things, as far as I know, have a special attack as well. Here's its basic attack. That is some creepy stuff right there. And then there's Punchy, they're just, he's like, pfft. Oh god. Ew, it just keeps going. Anyway, he's just like completely unamused. And then blah, blah, blah. Tentacles everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't have as much range. Next up is the alien appendage, which I think is... Oh, that's the cartilage gun. What's the alien appendage? They all have, na like, different names than what their actual in-game name is as far as, uh, the, like, spawning them in is concerned. So as you can see, this is kind of like the worm gun. Except apparently this one has a bit more punch because this guy is actually reacting to it. A bit. I feel bad for this guy. What's its right-click ability? Does it have a right-click ability? Oh, it doesn't. That's odd. And then we have the adaptable crossbow. And the cool thing about this is that it has different ammo. Pretty sure this is just regular ammo. You right-click, you change the ammo, and then BAM! You get fire ammo! Change it again, you have freezing ammo. Boom! There you go. Change it again, and you got purple ammo. Not quite sure what purple am Energy ammo? Plasma? I don't know. Doing something to him. Change it again. And it's poison ammo. That is a lot of poison damage. Does poison damage just like stack or something the more you shoot? Or am I just that awesome? Okay. Whatever I'm doing is not even hitting it. So, is this just practice bolts? Ah! Got closer to me. Oh, that's interesting. It's some kind of gravity gun? Huh. Interesting. And then we change it again. Oh, wait. It was black twice. So maybe the first black one pushes stuff away. And the... Or the first one pulls stuff towards where you shoot it. And the second... Uh, knocks it back? Anyway, so that, that's that. And we have our fancy Astro Saber Deluxe. Or Astro Saber Deluxe. However I pronounce that, I did that terribly. Yeah, you can rip a hole in the fabric of space-time. Absolutely nothing can go wrong doing that. I really should have given that, like, fancy Japanese game show announcer uh, voice. I can't do that. I can't do that at all. It sings. Obviously, best weapon in the game. Alright. There we go. Just uh, smack him around a little. There we go. 
So you can play, have some music while you're killing your enemy. That's always fun. Uh, you got the evil eye, which, what does this thing do? How far back can we kill with it? It shoots eyeballs! I mean, what else would it do? And they're bouncy eyeballs. They just bounce around until they eventually die. And what is, I'm assuming, let me guess, right click is a big beam spam of eyeballs. Oh shit. Oh damn. Does it shoot again? Shoots once and then makes some fancy uh, sound effects. But that is all. What's the right kick called? The evil eye. It might do something else depending on the enemy. I mean, Punchy here is not the best example of enemies. And then they have the cartilage gun, which shoots some uh, toxic poison here. I've got to be honest, that poison damage, is it just ticking up every time it hits? Because that, that is some serious poison. Like 900? I would die if, if that does no right click either. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, that's, uh, that's that for the special weapons. I think there's at least one more, but I couldn't get it to spawn for some reason. Probably because I spelled it wrong or something. Anyway, we'll put these away. And we'll, we'll keep the whip with us for now, because whips are fun. Or something like that. And let us go over to the outpost. Wait. I feel like the whip could grapple on things. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I'm sure I saw a post somewhere like a couple weeks back or something where when they were first showing off these things being implemented into the game that seemed to grapple onto stuff. This doesn't even work anymore. So, clearly they're in the process of changing how that works. I do think that's interesting, making it so that your first world, you can just go to the outpost like that. What do we have here? Now there's some garbage in the garbage can. A yeah, Grand Avian sarcophagus. Wait, tech person. Let's see. Tungsten bars and a sharpened claw. Can do. I mean, that is, of course, the tech person. I think in a previous episode, I covered going for all the tech. But I do notice on sale right now, you don't actually see too much, uh... You have this guy, where you can buy all the classes of a uh, ship. Okay. Still no new vehicles. I, I do hope we see at least a couple before the uh, 1.0 update. Submarines, giant mechs, stuff like that. All cool stuff. I mean, of course, if that doesn't make it into 1.0, it might make it after, and modders are obviously going to do some stuff there, so that'll be fun. Also, I found out, apparently with this guy... With Dreadwing, unless I changed it. Please follow- no, I don't want to go to your- Oh! There, they fixed it. Now I can go fight Dreadwing. But apparently for a while, um, if you wanted to fight Dreadwing, you actually had to talk to some... Lauren, I think it was? The one who normally sent you to the Florin hunting party mission or something. Is that right? I think. No, wait, the one who used to send you to the Florin hunting party now sends you to the Coliseum. Alright, this is gonna- this is gonna just take forever, so... Let's do this another time. I mean, we've seen Dreadwing before. Um, can I access any of the others from sale? I don't think I can right now. Yeah. None of the tech is available right now. Which is unfortunate, but uh, once they re-implement all that, I'll show it off. I think in an earlier episode I showed off some of that. You'd have to go back. I forget what episode I did that in. I'm pretty sure I covered the different types of morph ball and jump and so forth. I mean, to me, I don't find them all that useful as of yet. Like, I, I hate the fact they got rid of FTL dash. Oh, I also can't dash regularly, so apparently, yeah. Tech is a bit wonky at the moment, especially since it looks like... I presume what's happening is... Well, this still works at least, that's fortunate. But I assume what's happening is they are reworking all of this. Proofing, I'm pretty sure, works. Missions, I don't think does right now, but it's all stuff that's... It's getting worked out, because I presume they're just putting everything back together right now, because the last few weeks, it seems like they've been taking everything apart as they're getting ready for 1.0, so I assume they are slowly, especially because not that long ago, they said that they're kind of moving into the polishing phase. So I assume that means they're putting stuff back together, and the reason a lot of stuff is getting particularly broken right now in the nightly is likely due to the fact that they are trying to keep some stuff a surprise until at the actual 1.0 comes out. But I think overall, that's going to do it for now. Uh, next time, assuming tech has been uh, re-implemented on sale, 
It actually might be possible. I just need admin commands to get it. But we'll we'll worry about that next time. For now, though, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.